YouTube, it's your boy Fish King, Nook City TV. Hey man, listen. Came to you guys, cause I got a dilemma. Spring is upon us, right? I know that you know that these crappie are gonna be all in the creeks. And y'all know that we have a big boat. And in that big boat, we catch a lot of fish, right? But when I think to the way back, man, there was a time when we didn't have that big old boat. This boat right here, y'all know what it is? That boat right there? There's a time we didn't have that boat, right? And so what we did, we beat the banks, we used minnows and corks a lot of the time. And especially in the spring, man, I picked up a two-man boat years ago. Now, I want y'all to come in here with me and look at this beauty right here. Guys, this is a 10-2, bass tender, 10-2, two-man boat on a trailer. Um, this thing has live wells. <clears throat> gas tank for the big motor that I've wrecked up um, two seats battery box I mean it's got everything you need but as y'all can see man I got some work to do to get this thing back in working order I think I made up my mind man that I'm gonna go back to some of my roots see how much I've forgotten we got a little work to do man but I think we're gonna do it man Hey guys, so this is literally what I have to work with. A few failed attempts at keeping a tarp in here just to make sure we keep everything nice and neat. That clearly didn't work out. That's gonna get thrown away. A lot of that kind of junk. I'm scared to see what's in this tank. Feels pretty empty, so we might be good there. Trolling motor still works, but I see that at some point I have broken my transducer off of it. And that's really just a depth finder. Nothing more, nothing less. And that is an old, looks like an old motor cover or something, I don't know. Front seat, latch is still good on it. Oh, still got some good padding there. I don't remember if this is, I don't remember if this is live well. Live well still looks good. This thing has had plenty of fish in it. No more recirculator. Um, so you just have to take the plug out. And that's how you get water in and out of it. Won't be a big deal there. Out of this junk. See, trolling motor still goes on the front. Hookups, not in the best shape, but that's easy to redo if I need to. Receptacle, that receptacle's new. God dang. Little plug in right here. Let's see if I can get over there to it. Y'all, yeah. Spring's still good, good lord. Shoot, okay. Yep, that's still good. Got my paddle. Got my golden rule. I need to put something to float on that. 
Oh, I need to go right here to the other side. More pine needles. Definitely need to go to the car wash. Seat base. Don't need that. All right, here's the business end right here. This battery is old. I'm not sure if it'll take a charge. Got a buoy marker. Here's that old eagle, guys. Caught a lot of fish with that old eagle. Take that out of there. That's pretty much no good to me anymore. Got a good pair of pliers. Take the hooks out. Got to check on that battery. We might be able to charge that battery. If not, I got batteries at home from when we took the uh, we took the lead acid batteries out and switched them out for um, the amped outdoors lithiums. I wish I had a 12 volt lithium amped outdoors. That would be real nice to keep weight down in this boat. Um, hookups could look better. That one looks like it's been burnt. Yeah. It looks like where the inline fuse went. But other than that, I think we're going to be... Okay, we ain't in just no terrible shape, guys. Just got a little bit of cleaning to do. Um, tires don't look dry rotted. Yeah, they're not dry rotted. They're actually still holding a little bit of air, so that's a good sign. Um... Leaf springs. I'll let jump up on it there. Well, I don't know a whole lot about it, but we'll definitely take a look and make sure we're not going to get on the road and hurt ourselves or anybody else for that matter. But yeah, that's what we got, man. This is a good little boat. Thing is, it is a heavy boat, though. So that's why it has to be on a trailer. Um, I'll probably put an extra battery in here so we'll have double power depending on how far I go each each trip. So y'all know anybody that can fix a pull string i'd have to go back home to show you that but i do have a little i think a little seven horse motor or if anybody has a small motor man that goes on a on a boat small gas motor boat y'all are willing to sell let me know man comment section hit me up or i'll leave the uh email address there so you can let me know all right guys just like i figured Resurrecting something that I have not touched in over four years is going to present a couple of problems. And it didn't take real long, man. Um, so I was about to pull the boat out so I can maybe get a water hose in it um, and really wash out some of the crud. Um, when I tried to start moving it, I noticed that the tires are not holding gear. Um, I thought they were just sunk into the ground where the, where the sand has been shifting, but they're actually flat. That's the first problem. The second problem is this. The hub on the left side is not spinning, man. I went to go try to spin it myself and that thing is locked up. Sorry about that, child, the battery died. But anyway, um, the hub has went out. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do as far as fixing the hubs. Um, might as well change both of them. And at the same time, we got two flat tires. So it might be a lot of money spent that I didn't intend on spending. Um, and I'm not even sure it's worth it. But the winds are going to be high. Spring is around the corner. I mean, it's definitely something we can start doing. So resurrecting the tube, man, is going to take a little bit longer than I expected. But let's see what we can figure out. had some little pits in it and I took my hub off
Alright y'all, I aired up the tire and it seemed to be holding there. I've been been holding it for probably about two hours now. So we shall see. Might end up having to uh get another tire, but another two tires. We'll see. May get online, see if I can shop for some cheaper ones, but hub number one is on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take both of them off and replace both of them so I don't so I have that peace of mind going down the road. Well, y'all, I was trying to get her done. We got we got her up. We got her up and looking like something, man. So, new hubs. Got it cleaned out a little bit. I ain't going to say I just got it spick and span, but it's a creek boat, so it's going to get dirty. But we got it pretty much where we need it, man. Um, show y'all this other side. I got... Got it looking, got it looking all right, y'all. Um, and I gotta figure out why that boat is sitting on the fender right there. But other than that, man, this is her. The 10-2. So if y'all are familiar with any of these uh, two-man boats, man, leave it in the comment section. I'd love to hear about it. But we have, man, I really wanted to get her pulled out, but I'm not going to do it. But we got her resurrected, y'all. I'll probably hook up to the boat tomorrow. If y'all want to see a part two, let me know, man. guys day two are trying to get this thing together and listen i just pulled the boat out went around the block um i want to drive it a little bit more before i try to go miles and miles but uh we're gonna drive this thing up to the car wash we still got a lot of cleaning out i need to do we'll go to the car wash 
um, real quick. Wash this thing out, clean it up. There he is. What's say, Dad? Hey, now. How's it going? How you feeling, man? I feel pretty good. That'll work. Yeah, we'll go to the car wash, clean this thing out. Um, and then what I want to do, because it's my first time ever changing hubs, we'll, uh, we'll be able to uh, fill those hubs and see how they're doing, man. I actually tried to rock this tire and it didn't rock at all so it's it's solid but i also want to see if they if those hubs heat up see make sure we're not getting any extra friction everything is looking good so far though guys we're one step closer to getting this thing in the creek <clears throat> you hitting the brake no. let it go hit it again uh-uh I could see it when I was turning the truck on. Now I hit it. Hit the left blinker. Ah. Did you do right or left? Ain't no way you did left. That's the left. Now hit the <laughs> now hit the right one. They working. Hit the flashers. Work? Yeah, everything working. is ready to hit the water man um i still got to get something on it man i like to at least know my depth i might have a surprise for y'all when it comes to what i put on this boat i already have a trolling motor i believe it's like a 45 uh, pound thrust hand control so that's all i'm gonna need for this creek boat um i have paddles life jacket i'll put a throw pillow in here because that's the thing to do um I do have an outboard for it, but I need to fix the pull string on it. So if y'all know somebody that can help me do that, um, cause I really don't want to mess with that spring doing it myself. But if there's somebody in the Fort Worth area that can help me with that, man, um, I'd love to bring it by, man. See what you can do with it. Uh, let me know in the comment section about that. But like I said, man, I got a few ideas on how I want to rig this thing out. Um, and that's just going to be in the videos to come, man. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. But listen, it's time. It's time. We got this thing cleaned out. It's ready to go. And it's time to put some crap in this thing. It's your boy Fish and Ken Hook City TV. I'm out here.